Hello everybody, this is uh, Mr. Rios and uh, for this video tutorial we're going to be working on how to make a maze game with Scratch 3.0 and this is going to be part number three. In our last video we gave instructions to the computer on how we want our main character of the game to behave and how to be able to go through the spaces and not through the walls in the maze. Now we're going to be adding an additional value to the game. In this case we're going to have some few things that we would like our main character to collect. So we're going to be adding items. For this, we're going to go again to the sprite library. And we're going to look for any object you would like your uh, sprite to collect. In this case, I'm just going to collect apples. I have the apple right here. You may collect absolutely any other item you want. And again, if you would like any item to be from the internet, please watch the video on how to make uh, how to use actually sp uh, images from the internet as a sprite. So now what we're going to do is that we're going to move this where we want this to be. Right now the object is too big, so what we're going to do is that we're going to make the object probably uh, half bigger by going to the size, changing the number. I'm going to put 50. Probably 50 will be a reasonable size. Let me see. Um, probably a little bit smaller than that, but about 45. Oops, didn't take it. 45. Alright, much better. And the objective of having uh, the objects for our main character to collect is that that will make the main character somehow be forced to go through areas that he would normally not go so that he has to collect that. So I will have one item right here. He doesn't have to go really through here to get to the end of the uh, maze. He just goes through here. But I will put it over here so he, he has to go through that part to collect it. So I will go to motion now. Sorry, I will go to events. In events, I will go to um, put a green flag. Then when we have the green flag block, we're going to go to looks. In looks, we're going to also look for the rest of the location blocks to have the location script. So we have hide. Then we have show. Then go to front. And now we will go to motion. And in motion, we're going to have the block that shows coordinates. So these are the values for x and these are the value for y. We make sure that in x we have the same values, negative 75, x negative 75, and y4, y4. So this object is going to be here, ready for Gobo to collect it. But there is still one thing we have not worked on, which is the interaction between the object and Gobo, and how is this going to be actually counting all the points every time Gobo collects the item. So for that, we're going to actually create a variable. And since this is going to be level one, we're going to name that variable collect one. And then we'll click OK. Uh, we're going to move this variable out of the way. We're going to put it probably here. Uh -huh. And that what we're going to do is that we will go back to Gobo. And in Gobo, we're going to put a green flag block. We're going to go to variables again. And we put this. And now what we're going to do is that we're going to move the variables to set variable collect one to zero and show variable collect one good now we will go back to the apple for the item you want your main character to collect this is what you're going to do you will go to events you're going to place a green flag block then you will go to control in control, you will look for a forever. And you will connect the forever right under the green flag. Then right inside, you're going to put an if then. 
if the code gets active just deactivate it by clicking the stop sign or just clicking on the flag again then here we will go again to sensing and sensing you're gonna pick the first one says touching mouse pointer and here instead of the mouse pointer you're gonna select the name of your main character in my case the main character's name is Gobo so I'm gonna click on Gobo and then right here you're going to broadcast a message and this is a very important block because that message will allow you to do different things so instead of message one I'm gonna click on new message and you're gonna click there and you're gonna put collected one a and it's very important we do 1a because we're going to have at least three objects so the second object will be 1b and the third object is going to be 1c is collected because you're collecting is one because this is level one and a because this is the first object you're going to be collecting now you will have that when i receive instead of message one but when i receive collected 1a Whatever. So let's go to control. I'm gonna put a forever, and you're gonna go to looks. On looks, you're gonna do a hide. Whatever hide. Whatever hide. So anytime Google collects this apple, it's going to hide it forever. But still, will not be telling the computer that we're collecting points. So we'll go back to Gobo. And Gobo will have that when he receives collected 1A, then we go here to control. He's gonna wait one second. And after that, we go to variables. And in variables, we're gonna go to change collected one by one. So now, when I click the green flag, if I move Gobo, and I go to where the apple is, you will notice that when he touches the apple you will notice right here that it will says collect one and there will be a one right here so let's do that and that's it there you go so he's collecting it now let me stop the script and we're gonna duplicate this we're gonna duplicate the apple let's make it visible just for a moment let me move go out of the way so we can see it better let me go back to the apple we right click duplicate and now we're going to place this into another spot that Gobo doesn't really have to go. We're going to change the broadcast message, as I told you, to collect it 1B. Here, then we go to collect it 1B. And we change the coordinate. The coordinates for this one is 65. So we do 65 and negative 70 we do negative 70 and we do the same thing for as many other items as we would like to have around on our map we go to gobo and gobo we have a similar block so we right click duplicate move down here scroll down and now we're going to change this only to collect 1b and every time it touches the second apple this is going to collect a second item. Let's do a third one. Right click, duplicate. And now for the third one, I will just place the third one. And if I don't find it, just click on it. I will find it. For the third one, let's just do it right here. And for the third one, we're going to change the coordinate. His coordinates are 210. So I do 210. 7, so you do 7, and then I change the message to collect it 1C. If I look for collected 1C, and I will duplicate the same thing with Gobo and put collected 1C, and that will allow Gobo to collect each item individually without having them disappearing every time he touches only one and that will make Gobo collect all the items before he moves to the next step for our next video for part number four we're going to be working on how to make a portal over here so that it forces our main character to collect the items before the portal shows up 
so that he can go to level two. So don't miss that video. Thank you very much for watching.